Hey everyone, this is a Black Mod Critic and I am back once again with weekly Shonen Jump Friday videos. Now this is going to be a review of Boku no Hero Academia chapter 158, I believe. And this was a great chapter. I, I don't know, man. You know, some, you know, it used to like sometimes you be, you'll like read through weekly Shonen Jump chapters and you'll be like almost every fucking chapter was greatness. All right, like, like, like this is like some shit. Like I love, love, love days like this where I can get up, get up in the morning you know, today, um, you know, I had, um, had an appointment, um, with, with my fiance, you know, it was a, a routine appointment. Um, but like I woke up this morning, I was listening to the roots, you know what I mean? Like the old school album, like, um, um, uh, things fall apart. You know what I mean? Like I was listening to the roots. I was having a good fucking morning. I was vibing. Um, you know what I mean? Um, then I read these chapters and I was like, yo, these chapters are fire. Like I had a good ass morning just reading weekly show and jump chapters and Boku no Hero Academia chapter 158 was a great chapter. Not because of Deku. This is the thing that I think, like, some people um, might have a gripe with me about or something like that. And if that's the case, like, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to have your gripe. That's going to be what you're going to... That's going to, you know, be what you're going to do. All right? Whatever. My um thing with that was just, like, I kind of expected Deku... You know, Deku was incredibly strong. Deku did incredibly strong things. Okay. Like, you expect that. That, that That's how the battle should go with Deku at 100%. So there was nothing particularly surprising about Deku being the shit out of Overhaul. Right? Like, um, Shisaki. I like to call him Shisaki because, like, he's a person. Um, I don't necessarily call a lot of these heroes by their hero names unless, like, you know, I don't really know their actual name and shit like that. And that, and they're usually called by other hero name, right? But back to the fucking chapter. Like, Deku, like, we knew this is what he was going to do. So this wasn't particularly surprising unnecessarily. What I loved about this chapter, what made it fire was all of the Chisaki shit. That was fantastic. I, we, you know, we learned a bit more about who Chisaki is as a person what his goals are, um, who, um, who's influenced him, what the lengths in which he's gone to, to, um, achieve that goal. That's the shit that you want to see in, um, a Battle Shonen manga. You want to see all of the, you want to see the writing. You want to see the fucking quality writing there. You know, some, some battle manga, that shit ain't gonna be there, right? We already, you know, Dragon Ball Super, eh, you know, maybe, maybe the writing won't be there. That's okay. Although I do think the Dragon Ball Super manga is actually pretty decent. I think it's a lot better than the anime, but that's another conversation for another time. Um, uh, but I will say, like, that's what you want from a battle shonen manga, um, a quality battle shonen manga, right? You want the writing to be there as well as the battle. And I already knew the battling stuff was going to be there. I already knew Deku was going to, you know, fight over Hall. He's going to do some, you know, cool aesthetic shit. You know what I mean? The art was great there. That's cool. Um, if I want to talk about the art, the art for the battling was great. Um, but if I'm talking about, like, the way in which I love this chapter, or the reasons why I love this chapter, I gotta talk about Shisaki. There was like there was one um instance, right, in the chapter where Shisaki's talking about um with um the leader of the Yakuza, I believe, right? Um who he calls like, like Pops, right? And even like and there like I love the um juxtaposition of this guy, right? Pops the leader of the Yakuza. Even he was like Yo, dude, like you a little, you a little sus, man. <laughs> like it was really, it was really funny, but it was also really poignant and really important to see that juxtaposition, to see that difference, right? To see um their different sort of ideology and, and ideologies and the ways in which they um perceive uh humanity. You know what I mean? Like they're like it. It was like Chisaki, Um, I think genuinely despises individuals with quirks. Um, he hates quirks. He does not. He does. He thinks they're disgusting. Um, he wishes they never existed. Um, but I do think that he would not erase his own quirk. I think there is a way in which, like, yeah, he wants to make sure everyone else doesn't have a quirk. But he's definitely going to keep his fucking quirk because he's an asshole. He's a piece of shit, right? There are individuals like Chisaki who have these very strong ideological, um, you know, um, stances, right? And that's cool. Like, you want, you, you, you know, generally, like, you like people. As an adult, you like people who have strong ideological stances, um, you know, and, and moral stances, um, that you deem to be like good, right? Or, um, you know, on the right side or whatever, right? Like in that sense. And that's another conversation like for another day. But Chisaki is like clearly like an individual that's like, um, has strong ideological um, stances, but he's a piece of shit, right? Like this is not like um, a debatable like thing, I don't think. Maybe it's debatable like if, you know, you also are a piece of shit and you want to have some like ridiculous like pseudo philosophical conversation about why Chisaki's a good person and blah 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 like get the fuck out of here with that shit he's garbage like he's a garbage human being who despises um individuals uh with quirks right like and he probably and, and, and like 
in some ways, like the one thing that is interesting about that, I will say, is that I wonder if Chisaki hates himself and hates his own quirk. I think that's really interesting. I would like to see a bit more about that. I'd like to see Horikoshi maybe um dive into uh the um way in which, you know, Chisaki maybe um deals with some sort of self-hatred. That would be really interesting. I'd really like that. Right? Because then it would sort of be like a um a sort of uh compare like like sort of like um parallel to sort of the ways in which individuals are racist, bigoted, homophobic, transphobic, things like that, right? That would be um, an interesting um, um, parallel. I would love to see that, right? Because you meet people like that all the time. You meet you meet black people that hate that that hate um, that hate black people, right? Like you just see you know you see um get um um gay um uh, LGBTQ um IA individuals who hate LGBTQ IA individuals, right? Like you see the self hatred all the fucking time, um you know time after time after time. So I would love to see Horikoshi delve into that. Uh, again, when um the Yakuza leader you know, goes, goes and talks to Chisaki and he's like, how, like, what do you, how, like, how do you view humans? Like, what do you think, pe like, what do you think people are? That was really interesting, right? Because he's like, he himself, right? And this is, this is clearly a man that has his own, like his, that is probably also morally co um, complex in some ways. Um, and maybe not more like, and not in a good way, right? Like he's probably like, you know, uh, also like sort of fine tuning his own sort of, um, uh, ideological stances and, um, sense of morality to suit his own, his organization's needs, right? To suit the Yakuza's needs. But um, even he is like, fuck Chisaki, like, yo, what's going on? Like, you got, you got to chill, man. You know, like, that's really interesting to me, right? Um, when you see um, characters who clearly sort of like uh, go, uh, um, you know, sort of go uh, beyond, the, who are beyond the pale, right? When it comes to um, um, individuals, like, even, like, the fucking, like, the Yakuza, right? Like, Yakuza, Yakuza is sort of, like, the leader of the Yakuza is sort of, like, the pale. And, you know, he's, like, a typical, like, you know, bad guy, right? In, in, in a general sense. And then you have, like, um, Chisaki, who's, like, beyond the fucking pale, right? Beyond this fucking dude. Who's just, you know, he just wants his organization, his, his, his villainous organization to survive, right? Because, like, um, we understand that this guy's probably the villain, right? Like, he ain't no, he ain't no damn hero, but, um, right, like, um, it, but, but we understand that, like, Chisaki is, like, beyond it. Like, he's, like, he's, like, a little far gone, you know? And you see that because, like, he's a little, like, whoa, like, he's, like, oh, only I can see, um, what Eddie's usefulness, um, what Eddie's usefulness is and stuff like that. I'm, like, nah, you know what kind of people say that? Like, um, you know, self-absorbed, like, uh, megalomaniac, um, you know, usually, like, dictators, like, people like that. Individuals who are just a little, like, nuts. Like, they're a little nuts. They, they... They um, don't understand um, how just like the, the general public like feels about um, particular um, uh, acts, of, you know, tied to um, their own morals and ethics and ideologies and rights and stuff like that. So I love that part of the chapter. That was the best part of the chapter for me. Um, you know, the end part of the chapter was kind of like cliche because it was like, oh, you know, I, uh, you know, um, um, Ochoko was like, oh, is you know, Deku gonna die, and then Night Eye was like, oh, I thought he was gonna die, but now I see something different. I'm like, ah. It's a little cliche. I'm sorry, it was a little cliche. All right, um, you know, if you like that stuff, that's cool. Like, I'm not saying people don't like this thing, don't like that thing, don't like Deku's battle, because Deku's battle was like, you know, I was right, it was cool. <coughs> Excuse me. But, um, it just wasn't for me. You know what I mean? It was just like, all right, cool. I, Deku, go do your thing over there, beat Chisaki. But I was interested in everything else. I was interested, I was interested in the Hunter x Hunter-esque, like, you know, writing that, like, Cody Koshi has, like, brought out recently. It's just been fucking phenomenal. It's been fire. I appreciate it. Um, and that's basically my review of Boku no Hero Academia Chapter 158. It was great. I loved it. <coughs> and, yeah, that's it. I'm the Black Manga Critic with here with, a, with another review of Boku no Hero Chapter 158. And I'm out.